guys, welcome back to the fifth part of the machine gun, gun nevis build. These are spindles that I actually bought for the, um, the sexy machine, but then I decided to use spindles with the spring. So I ordered some springs, as I mentioned, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in my first video. I'd love to put ARMs on this on this go kart, but it's just a, quite a bit of work. And what I'll do is, once I'm done with this build, I got my mini bike build to do. But in the meantime, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on ARMs and see if I can get them correct. Like it's it's not that easy to have uh, to build ARMs and get the wheel lined up correctly like the, the wheel angle so I'm gonna work on something like that but in the meantime what I want to do with this is I'm gonna use uh, springs for the front this go kart is not gonna go over uh, three foot rocks or anything it's gonna be just a fun cart just want to make a look top with the big wheels so I'm gonna have I'm gonna have the spring here but what I want to do is I want to put the spindle on an angle for um, bump steering And for, in order for me to do that, I need to cut this bolt off, bend it down, and then re-weld it. Because obviously the wheel can't be on an angle like that, right? So, and then I don't have the spindle um, brackets, bolt-on brackets or weld-on brackets. So, right now that's what I'm going to work on is the spindle brackets and once I get the spindles on then I can put my steering on so I'm gonna get to it okay here's the angle I came up with Cut it, sliced it a little bit, well not a little bit, quite a bit, bent it, and I think that'll work perfect. I think, if any of you don't know why I'm doing this, I'll explain later on once I get it on. I saw a nice video of, uh, I forget his name some guy explaining why you should have this this angle uh, for bump steering and he explained it with the uh, hot glue and the hinge and uh, I think I thought it was pretty cool I'll look I'll try to look for it and uh, post uh, a link for it but he made sense so uh, yeah anyway I'm gonna go with that angle I'm gonna weld this all in Actually, I'm going to put a piece of steel in here, weld it, and then weld it all the way around. And make the other one the same. So here's how my weld is coming out so far. I know I said I was going to put a piece of steel in here, but I decided not to. What I did was I got the, the MIG welder right in there, and I started welding everything in there and I'm gonna finish it I just finished cleaning it yesterday it started raining so I had to stop so but yeah I fit I cleaned it with a wire brush so I'm gonna continue to weld here and then I'm hoping that I don't lose a wheel right but that that should be good
Uh, somebody brought me one of these gas bottles for the welder, which I really, really needed. So, eventually I am going to hook it up to the welder. Right now I'm using core wire. Uh, it spits a little bit more than the gas will. But I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave the core wire in for now because I got a big spool on there. It was a 10 pound spool. I don't know when I'm gonna finish that. And then I'll go on to the gas wire. Okay, I decided to put a piece <clears throat> down here from this top piece. I was just going to leave it like that, like the other side. But I figured, you know what? If we end up hitting another van, it's better if we have reinforcements. So, I made this piece, but because the spindle bracket is on an angle for... Um, the actual angle or inclination um, I had to slot it out I had to slot it out here so it can be even over here so yeah so what I'm gonna do yeah there is a uh, quite a bit of a gap here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice this right here and then I'll bend it down and weld it and over here also because it was hard for me to cut this angle uh, over here there's also a gap I'm gonna fill it that in with some pieces like this that are left over and I'll find a, a perfect piece to go in here and then weld it but yeah I think that actually looks better and uh, it's more reinforcement Cool? Cool. Okay, I finished these, these pieces here, um, I got all the welds done, not all of them, I still have to do the, like, the steering wheel part and the center part, I'm actually thinking of um, in the middle here on the front, I'm going to make an ornament, some kind of ornament for it, haven't thought about it yet exactly what I'm gonna make but I'm gonna make something um, one thing I wanted to uh, I said about these spindles the reason why the spindle brackets the reason why they're angled like that um, it's because of uh, the the spindle axle um, inclination 
Hey, uh, people might think this is uh, this is going to be caster. This is actually this is not caster. I'm actually not going to have any. Oh, sorry, camber. I'm actually not going to have any camber on this go kart. If you look at the, the way the spindle, I made the spindle. When it sits on here, the axle is going to be on an angle, but the wheel is actually going to be straight. So, <clears throat> I can go into detail about this. I can actually copy the other guy's video to show you guys, but that would be copying somebody's video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave, leave a link down below for you guys to check out this guy's video, how he explains it. And he explains it perfectly. And he explains it perfectly with the RC car tires. So, I'm going to leave the link below. You guys should check it out. That's where I got this from. So, yeah, I'm going to leave this video here. Um, I got to grind all my welds down and everything. And then start working on the steering um, column. And, uh, yeah, I got to think about how I'm going to make the steering. I haven't decided where I'm going to put my machine gun. Uh, yeah, and uh, David Johnson, I know you got a, a new welder. Come on, man, let's turn that thing on. And I don't mean your girlfriend, I mean the welder. Turn it on and do something with it. Atsar, love you, man. Thanks to all my subscribers and viewers. See you guys on the next video. Cheers.